Jonah didn't want to go. When we talk about Jonah, we usually picture the big happy fish in the kid's book and it's spitting up Jonah on the land. But when you think about it, why did Jonah get swallowed by the big fish? Jonah is that prophet that didn't go where God wanted him to go. Jonah was the one that God said, hey, go to Nineveh, so not the people of Israel, but someone outside the people of Israel, actually the the capital city of the people that were trying to overtake Israel, and go to them and tell them to repent. Tell them to turn around from the sin that they've been engaged in and tell them to repent, and I, the Lord, will forgive them. But Jonah didn't want to go. So he got on the boat and went the exact opposite direction. And then you have the storm and he's off the boat and the big fish and all that stuff. And usually if you ask people, what do you remember from the book of Jonah? They say the fish, but there is something so much more amazing in the book of Jonah. And that thing that's amazing is that God forgives. When you look at the book of Jonah, the point is that God actually has mercy. That God actually forgives in the midst of sin. That's why Jonah didn't want to go. It wasn't because he was so scared of the the people of Nineveh. No, it was actually he didn't want to go because he knew that God is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He knew that God is one who forgives. And so he didn't want to go because he wanted the people of Nineveh to get what they deserve. He wanted God to crush them and send down his fire on them. And we're told that that the word of God came to him a second time. We hear that God tells him to go and to share this message. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call against it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, three days journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They called for a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least. He went one day into a three-day journey, and he said, Stop it. Repent. And they did. And what happened? God forgave him. Jonah was not too happy. And that's how the book ends. He's upset that God doesn't punish them. God be praised that through Christ we have the same forgiveness. That when we go to the Lord and we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive. That through the bloody death and resurrection of Christ, your sins are even forgiven. And so we turn from sin, we walk this new life because of what Christ has done for us. Knowing that God is slow to anger and he calls us back to himself. So go in peace serving the Lord, turning from sin, and clinging to Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. God be praised. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.